To determine whether K3N is ionic or covalent, let's first look at the periodic table divided into metals and nonmetals. So potassium, that's right here, and that's a metal. Nitrogen, that's over here, it's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're usually thinking that it's an ionic compound, but it's a good idea to look at the difference in electronegativity between the potassium and the nitrogen to make sure. So we look up potassium, that's 0 0.8, and then nitrogen, 3.0. So the difference between each potassium and then the nitrogen is greater than 2. That means this is an ionic compound. And since potassium is in group 1, these all have a 1 plus ionic charge. So each potassium is 1 plus. The nitrogen, that forms the nitride ion, group 15, sometimes called 5A. These are 3 minus. So you can see why we need 3 of these potassium ions to balance the charge on the nitrogen in this ionic compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether K3N, potassium nitride, is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.